All right, let's start today with some right-wing cope. Let's take a look at how that they're dealing. I think today is supposed to be the last day of that uh, Arizona audit that the... <laughs> What, gosh, what were they called? Were they were called Code Ninjas or something? I don't remember, but uh, right-wingers basically hired a company owned by a QAnon supporter to do a, quote, forensic audit of the Maricopa County election. Um, and they were looking for things like, how do I explain this? They were looking for ridiculous conspiracy things to try and throw out uh, ballots. For instance, they said at one point... <laughs> yeah, I know. Chat, don't diss Jake. Jake's great. Jake's one of my closest friends. Come on. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Shit. Okay. Oh, the Chinese bamboo paper. That's what it is, right? Okay, so they were looking for fraudulent ballots, and they think Joe Biden lost the election, even though he didn't, even in that county. So they're trying to look for reasons to throw out ballots and say that they're illegitimate. And one of the things they were looking for was apparently bamboo fibers in the paper because they're racist and think if the election was stolen by China, then they must have printed those ballots in China. And as we all know, everyone in China carries around bamboo scraps around with them at all times so that's the level of competency they are dealing with i don't know if any of the audit stuff will come up in any of this right-wing cope but i just wanted to talk about something that's going on today and uh yeah today i think is the last day for that so um they're actually looking for cheeto dust trump left on all the valid ballots <laughs> that's true trump personally blessed them all if you smell it, you can still smell the, the faint odor of a Diet Coke can mixed with Adderall sweat. All right, let's do some right-wing cope. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. Look at the... Oh, my... Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. That... This car makes me feel a lot of feelings about a lot of things. And those feelings aren't positive. I gotta watch this PragerU video. Apparently 2 plus 2 equals 4 is racist. Ever notice how dogs only come in male and female? <laughs> oh my goodness. And cutting the balls off doesn't make it female? It's almost like dogs don't have gender weird it's almost like dogs have sex but not necessarily gender <sighs> this is a conversation we're going to be having for the next 50 years so look forward to that um how to get your car vandalized if you vandalize that car good luck that's an expensive car that's going to be a lawsuit and also you shouldn't vandalize other people's cars even if you disagree with them politically how about that Einstein was an intellectual. They all live in their heads and hate physical work, so socialism would let him study and learn without having to support himself doing labor. Intellectuals love socialism. My god, this is beautiful, it says. Imagine making an argument that socialism is bad. First of all, his entire argument is, is completely out there and has nothing to do with Einstein. But let's, let's take the internal universe of this argument at face value, okay? And not actually get into criticizing the fact that it doesn't make sense on the face of it. But his argument is that socialism would allow Einstein to exist and, and develop his understanding of like general and special relativity and they're framing this as if it would be a bad thing? They're framing the idea that Einstein can make the greatest scientific discovery in the field of physics of the 20th century. That's bad. I guess the only kind of labor that exists is the kind of labor that destroys your body. Clearly, someone who mines coal for a living has a greater impact than Albert Einstein. <laughs> did I see uh, MTG's weird harassment of AOC? I did. She's gross. 
One speedy Yoshi says last my bits who's gonna take the initiative and run into that car and destroy it. Not while well, anyone's in it, of course. Also, that dog one. You agree sex doesn't equal gender because the dog doesn't change. Good, how progressive. <laughs> And Ashibu says, we have a nice big fat frontal ro lobes that dogs don't have. Wowie wow. <laughs> oh no. Copaganda. <laughs> oh no. Oh, look at what the guy's shirt says. I, I, oh. Oh God. <laughs> Yikes. Newsmax hosts, if you're Jewish and you're a Democrat and you're living in America today, how do you support an administration that turns its back on your home country? Um, what? Does this, do they think that everyone who's Jewish in America somehow comes from Israel? As I talk about what's happening in Israel. The modern state of Israel. I'm not talking about the, like the, the origin of Hebrews as a whole. I'm talking about the fact that we're talking about the modern nation of Israel real right now folks one of the biggest problems is that america is weak i told you none of this would have ever happened under president trump and didn't well a friend of this program rabbi shvuli uh really went public today in a big way the denouncing the biden administration and his joe biden's response to what's going on listen to rabbi shvuli who, who is in new york where is president biden to show moral leadership where is President Biden to show moral courage that the United States stands with those who fight for freedom and not for terrorists? <laughs> I, I try not to talk about the whole Israel-Palestine thing in too much detail. Just because I don't know where the... Like, I think you all know... Can I even talk about talking about this? I just try and stay away from it. How about that? You can probably guess my opinion on it. I don't know. Pyromancer says, hey, they're calling him president. That's progress. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. Well, he talks about moral courage. It is something, sadly, the Democrats do not have. And I would ask you, if you are Jewish and you are a Democrat and you are living in America today, how do you support an administration that turns its back on your home country? I do not understand it. The conflation of all Jewish people, like, both religious and if we're talking about, like, ethnic Judaism, uh, and conflating them with Israel in general is, again, I'm talking about the modern state of Israel, pretty gross. Israel is our one true ally in the Middle East. Without it, we would be devastating. The world would be in a chaos like you have never seen before, Israel <laughs> provides stability to a region that is in absolute chaos. It's time. Boy, it's almost like that chaos is caused by, you know, after World War II and stuff, a bunch of arbitrary borders being developed by Western nations who didn't really know the groups of people who lived there. And then also, you know... Moved a bunch of... No, I can't... Mm, and then moved a bunch of Palestinians off of their land unfairly so they could... Mm, 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 end of conversation. We're done talking about this. And now we support Israel. President Trump... <laughs> Will not be Vosh. I guess even Vosh is back on Twitch now, so that's good. Anyway... Tucker White says, even if I was Jewish, why would I uh, be required to care about a strip of land no bigger than Maryland? Pyromancer says, just because I have Irish-Italian ancestry doesn't mean I have to go defend them. Profane Priestess says, it's hard to talk critically about Israel government because Nazis. Yeah. Like, act like anti-Semites and shit have made it so difficult to have a reasonable conversation about the role of, like, modern-day Israel and the whole situation with Palestine. It's tough. Johnny Dice, thanks for subscribing for two months, says, You're a content machine, Hannah. Thanks for helping to keep my girlfriend and me sane during the pandemic. Of course. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Healthcare, please. No. Lower taxes. And then... Missiles and stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... I 
I still hate commies, even after they changed their name to liberals. Wowzers. Comprehensive sex education pushes off a cliff into anal sex, masturbation, abortion, oral sex, and gender identities. Comprehensive sex education is rad as fuck. Tucker White says, Could you imagine this argument making sense if you swapped Israel and Jewish people for Germany and people of German ancestry like myself in this case? Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So it's not a comp. When it comes to land. Oh, yeah, Yang did a yikesy <laughs> tweet about the Israel situation. <sighs> Israel demands correction from Sanders. It only killed 532 Palestinian children in the summer of 2014. Glad that correction could be made. Let's take a look at some right wing watch videos, shall we? because they know if there was one second voter ID they don't want voter ID because they know if there was voter ID they'd lose just like they lost last time okay I also among the voter ID stuff that they talk about I find it funny because it wouldn't even solve the problem that they're alleging is happening because according to like QAnon type people they don't necessarily think that it was like you know, millions and millions of people walking into a place of voting and voting fraudulently. They think that somewhere along the chain of custody that, like, a deep state cabal or something similar, like, snuck in a bunch of ballots or had them changed digitally or some other bullshit nonsense conspiracy stuff. None of which would be mitigated by voter ID. So I don't even understand, I mean, I do understand, but their cover story for why they want to make it more difficult for people to legitimately vote is poor and falls on its face when you think about it for even five seconds compared to what they're actually claiming they think happened in 2020. Okay, just like, and by the way, if a, if a pipeline can be hacked, you're telling me an election can't be hacked? <laughs> Those are obviously the very same thing. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man! Yeah, I heard, uh, I heard about the Suris situation. It sucks. Have I checked out No New Normal? Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> Rome is burning. While Rome is burning, well, you can't even go to the gas station. <sighs> I wish I had a fiddle. Will this do? ...right now and get gas. <laughs> but you're telling me, hey, just don't say anything controversial, Pastor Todd. Don't say anything controversial. Be careful. Really? Well, that's how we got to this mess that we're in right now, where they're calling guys, girls, and girls, guys. That's how we got to this mess. We're trying to shoot you with chemicals. Tell you that you can't travel if you don't chemicals. do it. Show me your papers. Vaccine passport. Are you... Yeah, get a vaccine. Do it. It'll be good for you. Uh, Tiger White says, because they'd get endless shit if they came out and said, we just don't want seven-letter word, starting with N, voting. Yeah. Blackwing Hecate says, it was a liar, not a fiddle. I guess that makes me a liar. Yeah, didn't. Yeah. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, we were. What about Surus? Surus got a suspension, a temporary suspension from Twitch earlier for showing. I think someone said it was like someone was arguing that rubber bullets don't cause damage, and then Surus pulled up a picture of someone who had been shot with a rubber bullet, which is gore. Yeah, you can't do that. Twitch is pretty strict on gore policies. Ashy Boo says, as a fellow kazooer, keep following your kazoo dreams. Blackwing Hackety says, a liar and a player, too. We were made for a time as this, to take a stand. We were made for a time as this. This is Joe Biden's America, but really, this is the enemy's America, and what we're seeing right now. He's trying to play his, his last stand, his last hurrah. Trying to make it like it's the end times right now. But he's overplayed his hand. You're the one who's claiming that it's like Rome and it's on fire. What do you mean Joe Biden is making it like the end times? You're literally saying that. What do you mean? Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's important for um, any movement to have 
both extremes and the moderates because the people on the extreme, they force the, the establishment to negotiate with the moderates, mm-hmm. right? So if we are in the, mo- if we're the moderates, if we're in the middle, if we're advocating uh, peaceful means to transform the country, the establishment is going to have to negotiate with us because they don't want to negotiate with the people who are advocating violence. Mm-hmm. And that's just how, how society works. <laughs> Ooh. Pyromancer says nothing like some enlightened centrism. Yeah, it's not generally a good idea to go on your podcast and say that the parts of your movement that call for, like, murdering your political enemies, it's not generally good to say that those are, like, valuable members of your community. Just saying. Sorry, I'm trying to scrunch my hair up as it dries. It, it's it's necessary to have the extremes. It's necessary to have people that are, you know, calling for violence. I, I'm not saying that we should, but those people force the establishment to negotiate with rational people like us who are nonviolent. It's important for rational um, any movement. They're QAnon believers. They're not rational. And they say they don't go after. They will hack the systems of a major corporation and they say they don't go after religious groups or government entities or infrastructure, although oil and gas kind of is infrastructure. Sorry. Okay. They say they don't do that. They just go after major corporations and they say they are apolitical. They're not uh, tied with any government or political group, which I don't believe. Okay. I believe these are Democrats. I believe they're basically Antifa hackers. That's my personal opinion. (laughs) And these dang Antifa hackers. (laughs) Great. Tucker White says, by the way, where is this far left commie Joe Biden that these chuds claim that Biden is? He's a a shadow Biden, okay? When Joe Biden sleeps, commie Biden raids the White House kitchen fridge, okay? He's just biding his time. Three years in, he's gonna snap. And it's gonna be like the cultural revolution all over again. (sighs) Want us dependent on them. They want us... These cyber attacks are going to make COVID-19 in this past year feel like a cakewalk. So we better get used to it because those are coming. They want us crippled. It's always interesting to me how these like alt-right, super right-wing fringe media, whatever, that look like news. It's almost like Uncanny Valley and that they almost look like a real news production but they're just off enough that it looks like they're shooting it in, like, their parents' house with a green screen. But, like, it's almost there. I feel like if we just got boomers' glasses, they'd maybe see things in sharper definition and realize that this is, like, sus, but they see things so blurry because they're old and their eyes don't work that this is enough to be like, yeah, this looks like a news show. (laughs) Blackwing Hecate says... You're not me, Biden to shadow Biden, probably. They want us dependent on them. They want us locked down either through COVID or by these security hacks, cybersecurity hacks. Uh, They want us out of gas. Even uh, uh, Gavin Newsom said he wants everybody in California to stop driving cars in the next five years. I mean, this is a planned attack if I've ever seen one. He probably said something along the lines of increasing usage of bikes and vehicles that use renewable energy like electric cars or hydrogen fuel cell cars, I kind of doubt he directly said everyone should stop driving in the next five years. Solomon52, thank you for subscribing with seven months. And of course, Right Wing Watch is going to be telling me a conspiracy theorist, a right wing QAnon expert. Why? I don't think they'd call you an expert. I think they'd probably just call you a conspiracy theorist. Because they don't want people to listen to this. They don't want people to wake up to this. They don't want to know that it's a deep state agenda or want people to give this any credence but until it's too late. And by then, they'll be sitting on their uh, uh, sitting on their floor with no gasoline, eating worms, because that's also what they want us to do, right? They want us to just eat worms and plants instead of meat. <laughs> worms. Worms would be meat. Wor- wait. Meat, I guess, is technically... uh, Worms are alive, but I guess what they mean is that they're not... 
like like red meat i don't know whatever okay fine <laughs> does she think that the only options are either a steak or worms does she not know that there are other in-betweens vegetables i don't know pyromancer says deep state is just a psyop to distract from the shallow state the state goes in, the state goes out. Can't explain that. Tucker White 98, 94 rather, says, Could you imagine what these chuds would say about Gerald Ford during the oil crisis? Also, I wonder if the guy, gay, non-binary pal who watches all these chuds for Right Wing Watch mark, er, marked out when this chick mentioned uh, Right Wing Watch. Uh, I know that multiple times she's brought up Right Wing Watch and they post it, so I think they find it pretty funny. Casual Snark says, to quote the old missing persons song, Nobody Walks in L.A. Worms are meat. Yes. Tom Hanks. Oh, God, it's another one of these people. QAnon. Tom Hanks is dead. Newsflash. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks is dead. That's right. Okay. Joe Biden is dead. Yes. Okay. Come on. He took the the shot. Clintons are dead. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You've got clones running this country. Right. Citosaurus, <laughs> thanks for the hundred bits. Right. See, I got the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said. Why? Because I'm a man of God. Amen. Yes. You have to. Truth. Truth. You got Truth. these pumpified pre. Well, I, I, I don't want to lose my 501c3. Oh, come so on. we have to use wisdom. Stop. Okay. You need to sit down and shut up. Yes. That's right. Oh. That's right. That's okay. Right. So exactly. Trump is surrounded by the military mm -hmm. at Mar a Laga. Yes. That's Trump right. has the nuclear codes. No, he doesn't. Those are transferred to Joe Biden at noon on January 20th. Trump has the military. Logarth says pure unadulterated crazy is stored in the balls, apparently. Where else would you put it? In your brain? Don't be stupid. Who turned their back on Joe Biden. That's right. That's right. And Trump... That's an interesting claim that they tend to make, too, about the inauguration. There were both security, or I shouldn't just call them security. There were military personnel who were both looking at joe biden but there were other people who were looking away from him and some of these QAnon crazies were like oh my god they're looking away from him they're disrespecting him that must mean that he's not really the president yada 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 when really it's just if you think about it for five seconds they're guarding him they're not all supposed to be staring at him the whole time half of them were looking outward to see you know what there is to see and make sure no one's trying to run up on the president and the other people were looking at the president. It's not a new thing. Casual Snark says, Clone Schmoan. Oh, Clone Schmoan. As long as they do a better job than the last administration. Agreed. Has Air Force One. Patriots, on. QAnons, President Trump is still the president. I find it funny that some of the right-wingers are actively being like joe biden is the worst president ever look at the gas prices look at this look at that look at whatever it's so terrible this is a nightmare and then the other half are like no donald trump is still president <laughs> so if donald trump is still president is he to blame for all the things that the right perceives to be the fault of joe biden or what one speedy yoshi says isn't it illegal for churches actual churches not fake online ministries to push political messages i thought god's not dead too brought this up with the mayor wanting the priest's sermons um it is against rules to be a 501c3 church and to preach politics that doesn't mean it doesn't happen it happens all the time the enforcement on it is very low but yes it is technically against the rules if you are tax exempt to preach politics from the pulpit tucker white says i mean bill clinton is probably legally a zombie now and i wouldn't be surprised if joe biden had actual clones but what advantage would there be to pretending biden's dead especially when the dnc is clearly grooming kamala for the presidency <laughs> oh kamala sorry yeah I, I i don't know it doesn't really matter to me like it wouldn't matter if joe biden was a clone because that's not how clones work anyway <laughs> I don't even understand. Who makes a clone, but makes the clone like a hundred years old? Waste of a clone, okay? 
You're gonna clone someone, make a young Joe Biden. <laughs> Him and Corn Pops clone can get together and beat up uh, ISIS or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what Corn Pop skill set is. 16, before Trump was um, elected, the Lord gave me a, uh, a fascinating dream where, uh, and I'll just describe this briefly as I can. In the dream, people had to make a decision and they could either decide in favor of Trump or they could decide against Trump. And in the dream, I decided in favor of Trump and I was transported into another dimension. So I, it just, I was in another world, I was in another dimension. And I stepped into this world and I was walking around and there was no poverty, there was no sickness, there was no homelessness, there, there was everywhere I went. Because as we all know, under President Trump, there was no poverty or sickness. Those definitely aren't two things that became defining features of the final year of Trump's presidency. There was lavish abundance. Mm. Uh, the, 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 I couldn't see any crime. I, yeah. it was... <laughs> As we all know, crime happens openly on the street at all times. It's like a Spider-Man from the 60s. There are just people in ski masks who walk around and roam the streets for old ladies with purses that they can snatch, Okay. If you don't actively see a perch snatching happening in front of you right now, does crime even exist? Color by Emmy says, or clone Hunter Biden and release those giant dongs into the world. The world can't handle that much giant dong. Cool Cat 1256 says, it's a known fact the cloning process is unstable and the faulty genetics cause premature aging. Tuba Steve, thank you for subscribing for five months. MMO Addicted says, wait. Corn pop, Jake, corn suit. It all makes sense now. Profane Priestess says, Clones an 8th level spell, meaning Biden has at least 15 levels in wizard. Pretty impressive. He also needs a 1 by 1 square inch um, piece of flesh and some sort of sarcophagus. And I think a thousand gold. And I think it takes a year to grow. I think I remember that off the top of my head. But I was walking around talking to people like, where are the homeless people? Where are the shootings? <laughs> Where's all the chaos and mayhem? It was, it was the most incredible uh, place to be. And, and everyone had enough. Everyone's needs were met. Like I said, no sickness, no homelessness. It was like... We you're... you're, you're d <laughs> Boy, it's almost like the government should work to try and relieve poverty and crime and homelessness. Weird. Casual Stark says the word keyword here is dream. We were living in God's kingdom on earth. You're, you're basically in just trying August to describe a, a world with a functional government that helps its citizens. Good job. And you voted for the guy who's literally the opposite of that, so that's fun. There's been a lot of you know, signing of petitions and accountability they're calling for for the prophets. I have no problem with the statement of accountability in the prophetic. I have no, uh, no problem with the statement to identify prophets and what they are and false prophets. What I have a problem with is their statement or their stance. A, a, a lot of times people, they're standing. Um, it's amazing. Nobody wrote a letter and thanked me uh, for all the years that I prophesied the other presidents and, all, all, and, and even President Trump. And no, but as soon as something didn't look like it happened, boy, they jump on the bandwagon to attack you. And my question is how many of those- When you don't hit anybody on the road while you're driving, no one thanks you. But all of a sudden I start a 17 car pile up with my lies and then everybody freaks out. This guy claims to be a prophet and uh, was wrong about his prophecy that Trump would get a second term. And he's getting shit talked about it. Tucker White says, to be fair, Hannah, we also voted for a guy who's the opposite of that. We're doing our best. A profane priest, it says, describes a communist utopia is conservative. Make it make sense. <laughs> they don't know what they want. They just know their identity and their identity is that they're right wing. They're a Republican. And Republicans hate socialism or communism or anything left of authoritarianism. MMO Addicted says, 
Oh god, it makes even more sense. Corn pop. What do uh, uh, Michiganders call soda? Pop. What is Hannah drinking right now? Pop. Corn pop. Jake and Hannah. Jake and Hannah are the deep state. That's true. You caught us. I already revealed I'm a lizard person, so... Mike Mack says, add a clone slave race to the Illuminati plan with a nuke. Why the flying F does the Illuminati need a virus and fake being in the shadows if they have the technology to destroy the Earth and restore it and repopulate it? Yeah, the all-powerful, invisible government thing never made a whole ton of sense to me. People that are attacking, A, are, are you a prophet? So how can you, the, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14 that the prophets are to judge the prophets. That's what it says. If a prophet is to prophesy, okay, let the others judge the other prophets. That's what he was speaking about. <laughs> the Bible also says you'll know a false prophet because their prophecies won't come true. Your prophecy didn't come true. You're a false prophet. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ does. And so, you know, are they prophets? Do they stand in a fivefold office of a prophet? Second, do they have a positional grace and an authority by God? Just because you're a prophet doesn't mean that you might be called to be a prophet to the nation. Okay, there's different rank and file and um, responsibilities that are given to the prophets or to any fivefold office. And, and, and so you look at the list of people. Are they prophets? Yes or no. Second, if they are prophets... Have they been assigned by Jesus, the Lord of the church, this is a holy thing, yep. to prophesy to a nation? There's been a lot. That's a lot of words for stop making fun of the fact that my prophecies don't come true. Blackwing Hecate says, you thatch a hundred roofs and they call you Carl the Thatcher? No. You make a thousand swords and they call you Carl the Swordsmith? No, but you fuck one goat. Punishing <laughs> to see people that I religious right commenter Eric uh, Metaxas says that any Christian who claims to be apolitical is pro-communist think of his friends as Christian brothers and sisters effectively disagree with most of what we've said this evening completely take a different attitude think that you can somehow be Christian and woke or Christian and pro BLM which is Marxist or pro-socialist <laughs> Not shooting black people is Marxism now, I guess. That's cool. Damn, I guess I'm a pro-Marxist now. Tucker White says, is that, uh, is it that easy to be a prophet? All right, I'll try. The next video will be a right-wing loudmouth who spouts right-wing bullshit. Ooh, bold, bold claim. I guess we'll see. One Speedy Yoshi says, the Red Scare really ruined this country for the worst, didn't it? Oh, yeah. The Cold War... Fucked multiple generations of people's brains. Pyromancer says, if everything Republicans say is projection, does that mean they are the deep state? Or apolitical. Secretly, yes. Apolitical, apolitical really means. We're going to find out in 10 years that somewhere Republicans have a pizza place they're hiding children at. I swear. The number, the amount of proje projection that comes out of them at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised. I'd be like, that explains a lot. Mike Max says, conspiracy theorists, the plan is to divide us. Now let me tell you why you're wrong and need to be put down. Profane Priestess says, what? The disciples are described as living as libertarian communists. Why do fundies hate leftism? Because <laughs> they, because we're the enemy. Democrats and everyone left of Democrats are the enemy because team sports pro-communist let's be honest there's no way you can be genuinely apolitical if you are communism will come in it's the natural way uh it <laughs> communism is natural now that's interesting see this man he was not elected by the people of this country he was not confirmed in the senate he is the highest paid federal employee i think she's talking about fauci which everyone should ask, why is this true? Why is he the highest paid federal employee? Um, he's been in a high level of government since the Reagan administration. He's very respected. Like, that's probably why. Why is Dr. Fauci paid more than the president of the United States? 
the reasons listed above, and the presidential salary hasn't really been increased for a very long period of time, which is good. Honestly, at this point, the presidential salary is borderline ceremonial, um, considering the amount of wealthy people who go into the office, but either way, yeah, it's, it's to retain him as talent for the administration. Tucker White says, man, this guy would hate Jeebus, who is clearly a socialist. MMO Addicted, thanks for subscribing for 11 months. And this man just keeps moving the imaginary goal line down the road. Oh, maybe we can stop wearing masks by then. Maybe you should wear two masks, three masks, four masks. The mask thing, actually, they updated the guidelines. And now if you're fully vaccinated, they're saying you can go without masks. I'm still going to wear one for a while, because why not? It doesn't hurt me in any way, and it's just an extra layer of protection. But, like, do these people feel stupid at all now? That, like, all their fear-mongering of, like, they're never going to let us take the masks off! It's a muzzle! It's uh, Now that they're like, oh, hey, a lot of people have been vaccinated now. You can probably take the mask off if you're vaccinated. Are they even going to have a little second of pause where they go, wait a minute, maybe I was catastrophizing and being absolutely hysterical about PPE, which doctors wear all the time. How many masks do you need, Dr. Fauci? Everyone needs to be vaccinated. When you get vaccinated, you can stop wearing the mask. Oh, but now that you're vaccinated, we may have to continue wearing the mask. It changes and changes and changes. This it's almost like our information about a pandemic and how it spreads changes as we learn more information and get more data from studies done during the pandemic. Weird. Killjoy says he's also a doctor and we want to encourage those to leave the very profitable medical industry somehow. Yeah. Casual Snark says, I could have sworn that communists believe that religion was the opium, opium of the masses, so an unpolitical Christian is an atheist? Right-wing thought is confusing, because it doesn't make sense. Pyromancer says, I wish they hadn't said that because the unvaccinated are just not going to wear it. Probably. But assholes are going to be assholes. Mike Mac says, I know you hate people making fun of appearance, but... Co uh, no, I'm not going to read that one. Somebody had released recently about how there were some uh, prophetic ministers that uh, supposedly had a dream that uh, the, the B guy uh, would win and 45 would lose, and they are accurate prophets. No, they aren't. Because he won. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look. Damn, no, still Joe Biden. Close, though. I feel like we're getting close. <laughs> so you, you can call it whatever you want and that they had the skinny beforehand, but the truth of the matter is he won. People who think that this election fraud is going to go away. There's no election fraud. And that President Trump is going to go away. You don't know. He basically has gone away, actually. It's pretty fantastic. As it turns out, banning him from Twitter and Facebook, really, really excellent moves. Tucker White says, The thing I hate most about right-wing grifters, as well as left-wing grifters, is that even when they're proven demonstrably wrong, virtually none of them will ever suffer any repercussions for their fear-mongering or idiotic statements. Yeah, it's stupid. Understand that part of the visitation, this isn't worship, this isn't nationalism, this isn't an idolatry, it is God's agenda and desire to use a man and an administration as part of his visitation to bless the church, to give the church religious liberties and freedoms for the greatest harvest. Are you listening? But we got people... Like the disciples that are saying, oh, it's a ghost. It's evil. Oh, 46-1. No, 46 doesn't exist. I'm not going to Google it again, but no, Joe Biden's the president. Sorry. One Speedy Yoshi says the B guy, Barry B. Benson, but he did win the court case. Watch the movie. Oh, not that B guy. Well, I wish Barry B. Benson was our president. Logarth says, let the dark harvest begin. God doesn't reward and bless a thief. I guess that's probably why Trump lost, huh? Pyromancer says, God is an eldritch being who will come to harvest the souls of believers. That'd be kind of sweet. Who passed away. 
Let me see. During an appearance on the QAnon program up front in the prophetic, Bishop Larry Gators declared that the deaths of Joe Biden's wife and daughters in 1972 and the death of his son Bo in 2015 were a satanic sacrifice to help Biden's political career. Oh, fucking yikes. Like, you don't have to like Biden to recognize that that's a fucked up thing to say. Way, supposedly of uh, brain cancer. Now, my two contacts in the FBI said that- He has contacts in the FBI. I think these contacts are probably the same ones that talk to Doomcock and tell him that uh, <laughs> Alex Kurtzman's about to be fired any second from CBS. <laughs> that was a lie. Bo Biden was a sacrifice for the political rise of his father. Just like the first wife of Joe Biden, Melia Hunter Biden, was a satanic sacrifice going back to 1972 that will give way for the rise of the political career of one Joe Biden. Well, that's gross. Pyromancer says, nope, read that one. Mike Max says, funny how these conservative Christians never talk to Democrat Christians on the view that God helps the presidential race. The idea that, like, a, a divine creator of the universe, a being so impossibly complex that we would never be able to understand them, would intervene in something as petty as human politics is so laughable to me on just a fundamental level. Like... If you're religious, that's fine. Like, I don't, I don't care. I've talked about this before, too. I'm not religious, but if you are, whatever. Uh, we can have differing opinions on that. Um, whatevs. But to think that, like, the deity you believe in is directly affecting shit like politics is a toxic, toxic viewpoint. Um... MMO Addicted says, Ew, y'all want to see the sketch of my 40k nav navigatrix? Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the, uh, I, don't, I, I assume those are like tattoos. Pretty cool. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, Tucker White says, if Donald Trump is God's plan for yada yada right wing nonsense, then God sucks at what he or she does. Agreed. Overthought says, Jesus was a carpenter. He'd be a shitty farmer. This explains the low quality of the harvest of believers. Wing the Ultimate Nug says, do you have any opinions on Palestine? Yes, I do. Thanks for asking. Uh, Blackwing Hecate says, glory to the Omnissiah. <laughs> oh, God. Gen Xers, 1965 to 1979, the last great generation before all these sissies were born. And then it's a child drinking a Coors. Because nothing says badass like destroying a child's development with alcohol. Oh, God. I've seen a lot of these Trump paint jobs on cars. This one's probably the worst. The other ones at least had some sort of rhyme or reason. This one just has a lot of polka dots and I don't like them. Like, here's one, right? This is good and this or this isn't good and it's gaudy and ugly and this person is clearly, like, mentally ill. But at least it's a well-done window decal, you know? Uh, Blackwing Hecate says, nothing says badass like shitty American piss wa- I mean, beer. <laughs> this commenter says, I wish Big Don was walking up to me like that. Jesus Christ, I thought I had daddy issues. Are you going to sleep? Yes, I am. Now shut up. Remember 20 years ago in kindergarten when you wore that Indian costume? You're gonna get cancelled now. What? <laughs> That's not a thing that happens. <sighs> oh my god, look at this rap job. That's bad. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you're fooled. And it says, meanwhile, at the DNC... And it's animatronic Ruth Bader Ginsburg 
Barack Obama and then a picture of actual Joe Biden. I guess Joe Biden's a robot now. Actually, I think if Joe Biden was a robot, legally, you would have to refer to him as a robot. I feel like Joe Biden has, like, a very robot-type energy, you know? It's got that, uh, old man energy. It's a robot! Mike Mack says, How far will the MAGA cult go if someone unfortunate ha something unfortunate happens to their leader? Um, they're probably gonna say... If it's like the QAnon types, they're probably going to say that he's hiding from the deep state or trying to trick them. Some of them might say, oh, he was he was defeated by the deep state. They got him. I don't know. It'll be one of the two. All right. That's probably enough right wing cope for the day. Creepy stuff. Creepy, creepy stuff. I don't think there's anything else. Of homosexuality, it is a double sin against God. It's Apparently, being gay is a double sin against God. It's an abomination to God. It is a double sin because it is the sin of fornicating, because all sin outside marriage is fornication and sin. So, is it only a single sin if two gay people get married before they engage in the intercourse? In the sight of God. You can't have a same-sex marriage. No. I mean, you literally can. You can go get one right now. Baja and I could go do one right now. Although technically I haven't had that stuff legally changed yet, so legally it wouldn't be considered that. But let's say it was. You could go get that done. Um, Blackwing Hecti says, Ro Biden. Tucker White says, so now that Biden's president, who does JFK, when does JFK Jr. finally appear? The real JFK Jr. was the friends we made along the way. Pyromancer says, commit two sins, get the third free. And I'm addicted says, so being pan is like sin jackpot. You gotta be pan and you gotta be polyamorous. And then, yep, you go to super hell. One speedy Yoshi says, did you see that they said the date? The new iCarly show comes out, but there's no Gibby. This is a hate crime. Also no Sam, but I don't blame Jeanette McCurdy for not coming back after the shit Dan Schneider put her through. Um, I'm not interested in the new iCarly. And I liked iCarly as a kid, but you know. Eh. <laughs> Such thing exists. You can make one up. If you want to be a society in rebellion against God, you can just make it up. All marriages are made up. It's a social construct. Casual Snark says double sin. Is that like double coupons? Does it triple on Tuesdays? It quadruples, okay? We're going for a high score here. Um, MMO Addicted says, is super hell not just Poland? Well, I've never been there. But from how you describe it, it's pretty close. But that's all it is, just fiction. It's made up. But in sight of God, it doesn't exist. That's cool, because I don't think the sight of God exists, so I guess we're even. So you're committing the sin of fornication, number one, but then you're committing the unnatural sin that the Bible calls it, calls it unnatural of lying, having intimate relationships with someone of the, and sexual relationship, relationships with someone of the same gender. That is unnatural. It is an abomination to God. In the Old Covenant, it lists that in the same position in the same position that it lists bestiality. Sleeping with an animal. Yeah, I said it because the Bible says it. What do you want to bet this dude's search history includes some stuff that would be hypocritical. Let's put it that way. Mike Max says, at this point, everyone is going to hell. Yeah, why not? Tucker White says, does this guy think gay people do nothing but fuck? <laughs> I guess not. Uh, MMO Addicted says, well, if you ever need to hide from a rabid homophobic Polish mob, I can give you and Baja sanctuary behind my big gate. Good to know. Blackwing Hecate does sin scale linearly or logar logarithmically? <laughs> linearly, unfortunately. The high score is going to be a little tough to get. One Speedy Yoshi says, you need to see this. This is why Black Lives Matter horn is trending on Twitter. I saw this. This is the funniest Ben Garrison comic I've ever seen. Ben Garrison is a MAGA political comic illustrator um, who's terrible. Uh, everything I hate about political comics, uh, especially the need to label absolutely everything. But this is like a masterpiece of like... 
<laughs> just ridiculous straw man bullshit. It's so funny. Let's read what some of this stuff says. Um, instead of train station, it has a tran station. Um, and then it looks like... Uh, it looks like it's maybe supposed to be an unflattering image of someone with pink hair. Perhaps supposed to be a trans woman or something as the head of the train. It says pronoun train and the cars say Z, Zier, and Veer. <laughs> There's a metal detector that says vaccinated only. There's a castle that's on fire called Antifa Land. There's a rocket ride of some sort with very confusing perspective he did a pretty bad job on that one with like an illuminati all-seeing eye pyramid there's the black lives matter horn which is one of the better disney puns i've ever heard <laughs> i want to ride the black lives matter horn it'd probably be uh it's like the opposite of splash mountain <laughs> Tucker White says, E.W. Jackson's entire uh, search history is nothing but Yowie and Lady Boys. There's no way it's not. I wouldn't be surprised. Andrew Batella says, who wants to get off at the tram station? Tucker White says, but wait a minute. Which one is Snow White? Which one is Mickey? Which one is Donald? Ben, how am I supposed to know who's who if you don't label them? So anyway, uh, Donald Duck gets punched in the face by Mickey, who says, take your Snow White privilege out of here, ho ho! <laughs> and uh snow white and one of the seven dwarves says we would never say the m word implying some sort of racial slur against mickey and on the grass it says no trump supporters allowed there's a ride that's the socialism go round and it says free ride and it's donkeys instead of horses alluding to the democratic party it's genuinely, this is packed with more straw man bullshit per square inch than I can possibly imagine. It's so good. I want to hang this on a wall in my office. Blackwing Hecate says mouse. Yes, I think it's supposed to be mouse. So that's the, that's the right wing cope for the day. Very, very strange. They're doing about as well as usual, which as it turns out isn't very good. Thoughts and prayers for our friends on the right.